wearing two scarves and you guys want me to be naked? Shame on you. Shame on you. We're talking about ourselves into the year 2000. In 2000, I was basically the exact same person except I dressed a little differently. Do you know what I really would like to know? I would like to know about like pop culture in 2000. So why don't we just throw over to year 2000 Hannah and just ask her what her favorite band is. I really like Britney Spears. She's my favorite. I like that she's such like a good girl, like a good role model for me. I also really appreciate the work of... And I'm too old for this, but I really like High Five. Like, I would not know how to spell opposite without their help, even though I'm like the smartest in my class. Like, damn, that was huge. I used to have those glasses that were round and I thought they looked so chic when I was in prep when I picked them out. I was like, damn, I'm looking good with my round glasses. What about movies? Okay, um, Hannah, I know you're only eight years old, so what is your favourite movie at the moment? It's the year 2000, I don't know what was coming out, maybe there was like a Barney movie or something. My favourite movie would have to be... American Pie. I always watch like older people movies because I'm like super mature and amazing. I'd say my favourite TV show also, because you didn't ask that, because you were silly when you were pre-filming this, what an idiot, would be Spring of the Teenage Witch. Obviously. What about your dreams and your aspirations? Where do you see yourself being in say 12 years? So I'd probably be in LA or New York. I'm like a really good opera singer so I might be living, I don't know, where do opera people live? In the Sydney Opera House? No! Ew! I'd probably be living somewhere far away and like acting or dancing or singing. But I'd definitely be living like far away, dancing or singing, definitely showing off my natural talent. I would not like to be still living at home. I think that's a little bit sad, especially for someone that's like 20 because that's so old. Um, and I definitely want to be just good at whatever I'm doing. You know, living the high life, definitely not spending many nights at home, um, like hidden in my wardrobe, making videos whilst my jeans have holes in them. That would be just weird. I'm crying fictitious tears of pain. Okay, that's enough from you, little bitch. Alright, sick of your shit. Earlier in this vlog, I mentioned nakedness. And you might have also noticed that the theme is our eight-year-old selves. I don't know whether to be offended or maybe call someone. Maybe a hotline is available. This is a problem for us all. Now I need to get naked. It's so cold, it's so cold, it's so cold. Like, that is honestly, like, the punishment enough. I don't even care about the nakedness. It's about, like, being fucking freezing. Um... Yes, this is weird. I don't like doing it, but I'm doing it for my punishment. I'm giving it like a good few seconds, so I'm like actually vlogging while I'm doing this. So yeah, don't call me out on this. Um, one of the dictionary definitions of being naked is not being adequately covered, and I feel like I meet that priority, especially because I'm like naked in my wardrobe, and that is like the exact opposite of what a wardrobe is supposed to do. So yes, you've gone against nature, everyone, and you've also shown you might be pedophiles because you asked me to do this punishment on a childhood kind of week. Creepy, okay? A little bit creepy. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup on in, in this video. I'm gonna go and put some clothes on because I feel like an absolute dick face. Wow, I really shouldn't have said that phrase when I was naked. Alright, bye! <sighs> There's so many wardrobe choices. Just came back from my Barbie ranch. It's like, ooh! I'm pink and I'm a snow bunny. Ooh.